guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is grace make sure you definitely subscribe down below so for today's video i'm going to be doing a video you guys have wanted to see for so long and it's how to make friends on a cruise ship and meet people all that good stuff so i have a bunch of notes here um i have down some questions you guys asked me all of that i'm going to be answering it giving you guys my tips my tricks answering your questions and all that good stuff but before we get into the video i wanted to properly address you guys and say thank you so 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 much we hit 10,000 subscribers yay <laughs> um, i literally can't believe it we are currently at let me give you guys little subscriber count 10,046 of you guys which is so insane so that was my new year's resolution for this year and it is February 14th when I'm filming this so it's Valentine's Day and we already hit it which is insane um a little less than a year ago I think about a year ago I just had just hit a thousand so basically in a year I got 10,000 subscribers which is so insane so thank you so so much for supporting me and following me watching my videos liking my videos all that stuff i wouldn't be here without you guys and i'm just so excited to keep this journey going like let's hit 15,000 now you know like let's just keep it going so thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers i literally honestly can't thank you enough and yeah so make sure you're following me on instagram also i need to announce it like on instagram i've only really like said thank you um through the youtube community like typing thing um, but I wanted to like be able to do it properly. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm I'm just so thankful for all of you. So now that that is done, which is insane, let's get on into the video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you definitely are following me over there because I keep you guys included in a ton of stuff. I post updates for you guys. You guys know when the videos are going up, all that good stuff. So let's get on into the video so basically over on instagram i put a little like question thing for you guys to ask me questions of things you wanted me to answer about how to make friends on cruise ships how to meet people and all that stuff so i did write down a few of those and then i'm also just going to kind of give you guys my tips and what i like do on cruise ships to meet people because I have met so many people through cruises like my boyfriend some of my best friends like literally there's so many people that you can meet on cruises and they're just like it's a different kind of bond I would say than like just people from like your high school or like in college or just like around your neighborhood because you're with these people like 24 7 like all day all night um, and then you go to sleep and then you wake up and you go see them and you're on like a little confined ship with them and you're just meeting so many more people and like you don't have your cell phone so it's not like you're like all on your phones like hiding you like you have to talk to people if you want to meet people so I'm just gonna give you guys some tips on kind of how I like to do it and how I get through it if you see me looking down it's just because I'm looking at my little notes that I wrote down so to start out um, if you're a teenager um, most cruise ships have, at least all the ones I've been on, have like kids programs and like the teen club and like the younger kids programs, all that type of thing. So I'm sure if you're watching this, you're most likely like a teenager-ish um, age or maybe older. So basically on the first night of the cruise, if you are a teenager, go to the teen club. So I think on Royal Caribbean, the teen club like meet and greet thing starts at like eight or something. Look in the compass they leave in your room for you. It'll have all the information about like what times that the meet and greets are and all that stuff. The first night is the night you're going to establish like your groups and like meet the most people because the first night is when everyone is going up there everyone is meeting everyone nobody knows anyone so everyone's in the same position as you and they're all going up there to make friends um and then from there on out people don't really go to the teen club that much so i'll get into that but yeah basically my first tip would be to go to the teen club the first night and go to the meet and greet i know it can be like intimidating and awkward especially like if you don't have any siblings with you or like you don't have any friends on the trip with you that type of thing it's just kind of like weird but just put yourself in the position and think like 
everyone else is in the same spot as you they don't know anyone and unless they like have a friend or a sibling with them like they don't know anyone either so they're all like feeling the same way as you and then if you're over 18 so once you turn 18 you can no longer go to the teen club which sucks because it makes it like so much harder for meeting people when i was on my cruise over the summer obviously i was with cameron's family cameron's my boyfriend if you don't know we were on a cruise so like i didn't have a need to meet people versus like when i was on the cruise a few, like a month ago with my mom um obviously it was just my mom and i and so i didn't like really feel the need to like i didn't really want to meet anyone because it was just kind of like a relaxing trip but it's also like it's fun to have people there so if you're over 18 there are like clubs and bars and like those type of things that you can do for like 18 and 25s and like the singles um meet ups and that type of thing um they have like those so just look in your compass and it'll tell you um or go to like a service desk and ask about it they will be able to tell you like the times for those type of things but basically um if you're under 18 go to the teen club the first night if you're over 18 look into the bars the clubs the nightclubs those are going to be honestly the best option um and i'll get in more into that as well basically everyone's going to be in the same situation as you when you go into the teen club the first night um you're just going to kind of go in it's going to be awkward you can sit down wherever you want and if somebody talks to you like talk to them if they're like making conversation because that can make it less awkward for you but if not just kind of go in sit down the people that work up there um they're, they're normally like girls um and they're younger um they're gonna like give a little introduction and be like this is what is happening tonight like we have ping pong at eight or we have ping pong at nine if you want to come or like and then they'll have like the security people come in and give you all their rules all that stuff is gonna happen but then after that is when the meeting starts so after like the people that work there give their kind of spiels and like the officers and all that stuff all of that is done um basically that's when you're gonna start meeting people so everyone kind of stands up and they start talking to each other so basically how i kind of go about this is if i don't know anyone on like the ship um basically i will kind of just like look around and like see like okay who looks nice like you're gonna know your judge of character is gonna know people you're automatically like drawn to so i will like look at people and be like okay they look nice i want to like maybe go talk to them or i'll look at someone and be like you do not look like someone i want to hang out with you know so that's how you're gonna kind of be able to figure that out use your self-sense like your tuition inter intuition whatever it's called like use that when you're trying to figure out who you want to go up to so on the cruise I was on last Christmas so 2018 um, my friend Connor and I were on it and we already knew each other and like there was people coming in and they were all getting their wristbands because you have to like get a wristband if you're under 18 so they know um, so they don't have a bunch of old people coming in um, but we were just kind of sitting there talking and like I said we already knew each other he's one of my best friends um, from previous cruise and I'll Get into how I kept, we kept in contact and all that stuff later but basically we have plan our family's plan to like go on the same ship so we already knew each other and we were just sitting there talking and I was like Connor like those like people look really nice and it looked like a brother and sister to me so it turns out I was just kind of like smiling like looking nice to them I was like you know that type of thing and they came over and sat down by us and we introduced ourselves they were from Norway shout out to them if they're watching this but we hung out with them like the whole trip they were so awesome so fun to hang out with and they had like the coolest accents ever but basically that's just kind of an example of what i'm trying to say is like just like showing you look nice and like seeing other people that also kind of look nice is gonna you know show them oh let maybe we should go talk over to those people and not we're like oh yeah come talk to us you know so just kind of like that but then on the week before i did the back-to-back -back cruise so the week before i didn't know anyone um basically i would just stand up and i started going around to people and i was like hi like i'm grace you have to be super outgoing so remember everyone is in the same position as you and you have so much to talk about with these people because they're all from different places like some people are from different states different countries everyone's different ages schooling like activities you do all that stuff and so i went up to Honestly, I'm not sure because it was a group of three siblings. I don't remember who I went up to first, but I went up to one of them and I was like, hi, like I'm Grace, like, and he was like, oh, hi, I'm James or whatever. 
and he was from Australia and I go oh are you from Australia or like where are you from and he was like Australia so obviously right off the bat we had a bunch to talk about and he was actually like way younger than me I was 17 at the time and he was 14 and then his brother was my age and then he had a sister who was like a grade below me so she was like one year younger obviously I met like group of three people obviously right off the bat because they were all siblings and then from there I just like kept meeting people and also the thing about me is now I'm like so confident like and I understand the program where I will literally like there could be like a group of guys just sitting at a table and the first night I will walk up and be like hey I'm Grace like what's all your guys's names because that's the only way really you can meet people and I understand like if you're shy I understand you don't have to be like that you can just like go sit down next to someone and be like hi like I'm Grace, like what's your name? But that's gonna be like the best way to meet people. And a bunch of them are just kinda like, like they didn't know what, how to react. And then one of them was like, oh hey, like, you know? So the people that are gonna wanna react will react and yeah. So basically just go up, say hi, say your name. You're gonna have a lot to talk about. You can talk about what grades you're in, what school or where you're from, um, how old you are. If they're like from Canada, you can talk about the differences in your countries. Like um, one of my really good friends, Ava, I met on the same cruise I met Cameron, but um, I figured out from her, they don't call it like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. It's called like grade nine, grade 10. So now whenever I meet people from Canada, I know to be like, oh, I'm in grade 12 even though I'm not anymore, but they don't understand when you say like oh I'm a senior, you know, so You just learn a lot. So that would be my tip on Going up to meeting people and talking to them Just remember everyone's in the same situation as you and there's so much to talk about So the next thing is kind of what to do so after you initially meet people the first night the reason I'm really like trying to get you guys to go to the meet-and-greets the first night of the like voyage is because after that a lot of people don't really go to the teen club anymore or you know they've made their friend groups by then and there's no reason to hang out in there because it's really boring so after you have made kind of your friend group and you have like this group of people you like to hang out with you're going to be planning like oh let's go meet in the hot tub at like 10 o'clock oh let's go to karaoke at nine oh let's go do this oh let's go do that like you're gonna you're all gonna be communicating because it's not like you can text either so it's like okay i'll meet you guys here at this time or another thing i've done on like previous ships is everyone will kind of just like meet in the team club after like dinner or something and then from there we'll all just kind of migrate you know so that's for like if you're going to the teen club and that type of thing but obviously if you're like going to the bars and stuff I don't have much experience because I didn't go to any on the last cruise I was on um so how I kind of met people on the last cruise I was on since I was 18 um I was honestly just like tanning or like going in the hot tub like doing my own thing like just by myself and people would just come up to me like this one guy he came up to me I was in the hot tub I was the only one in the hot tub and he comes up to me and he goes like hi like how are you doing and I was like oh like I'm doing good I'm kind of just like because I don't I like, didn't have a need to make friends like I said and he was really nice so he goes you're like the first young person I've seen on this ship because this cruise like the week we went was the week like everyone was going back to school or like college that type of thing and I started college really late so he's like oh you're like the first young person I've seen on this ship and I was like yeah like there's not a lot of people our age like on it because everyone was in school I was like oh nice to meet you like I'm Grace and he was like oh how old are you I was like I'm 18 and he's like yeah you're like the first young person I've seen like everyone here is like so much older or like really really young and I was like yeah I totally get that and so we talked for like 15 20 minutes and if i wanted to continue like hanging out with him i definitely could have but i just like i said it was just my mom and i so i was like yeah i'm here with i'm traveling with my mom it's just like a girl's trip so we're doing everything together for the most part and i saw him like the day before the last day i didn't really see him the rest of the week because i think i met him the the first sea day um i met no i met him when we were in mexico um on like the boat because it was pretty empty we were both just like on the boat chilling so I met him there and then there was like two more port days so I didn't see him those days and then I saw him on the last sea day and he was like oh my god like we should totally meet up tonight and I was like yeah like if I see you around like sure like we can go like find other people or whatever but again I didn't really have the intentions to so but that's just like an example of like how you can meet people if you're over 18 like if you're just sitting in a hot tub and you see someone that looks nice just be like oh hi like how's your day going you know okay so kind of like going off of that um somebody goes how to like 
know who you want to talk to and like red flags with people and people like you want to avoid so kind of like i said earlier you're just going to kind of like know who you want to talk to and like who looks nice and who looks like a group of people you want to hang out with um i've been on cruise ships before where like people have tried talking to me and i'm like i don't want to hang out with you you don't do things i like to do um that's just not going to be my group you know and then i meet other people and i'm like okay you're really nice like i want to hang out with you guys um so that did happen to me actually like on the cruise i met cameron on there was like a group of like weird boys and like a few weird girls that just didn't do things they did things i just don't agree with and don't do so i was like yeah you guys they were like oh you want to come do this with us and i was like yeah no like i'll stay here and then i met cameron so yeah so basically just trust your gut um on that one the next question i got now i'm kind of going into like the questions i got but i got a question saying how to approach a cute guy so if you think someone's cute on a cruise first off just remember you're on a cruise not everything's gonna end up like cameron and i that was just like such a unique situation i guess but um how to approach a cute guy honestly just same thing you're just gonna go up talk to him like be yourself and just be like hey i'm like whatever your name is like how's your day going like nice to meet you um that's really all you can do like there's nothing else you can do it's not like you can add him on snapchat because you're on a cruise so go up to him introduce yourself just talk about where you're from and that way he knows you're there you know somebody asked how do you not come off as weird just don't be weird <laughs> i mean like like I, like I said earlier, everyone's in the same situation as you, so it's not like it's weird to just walk up to people and introduce yourselves because that's literally what everyone else is doing. Um, as long as you're being yourself, people aren't going to think you're weird. Um, if you are, like, weird, then find weird people, you know? <laughs> that's me. <laughs> just kidding. I, do you guys get what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so, yeah, just be yourself. Um, you'll find the right, right group of people if you do that. And the people that are going to want to hang out with you are going to hang out with you. The people that don't want to hang out with you won't and the people you don't want to hang out with you won't hang out with them so same thing how did you know you and cam had something different well obviously i was like initially like oh he's really cute and so i was like okay i really want to like meet him because he's cute but then again i was like realistic i was like this is just a cruise like who cares like yeah he's cute but whatever so i met him i he was really nice like i met him and his exchange student and then we met the canadian sisters and so we all just kind of started hanging out like that and then as i like went on more into the week i was like okay like he's like cute and bunny and nice like i had a little crush and i didn't like i wasn't reacting to it at all i was just staying the same because there's nothing like i said i could do because it was a five-day cruise and i didn't know how he felt and i was like this is a cruise i'm not going there and then later on at the end of the cruise he reciprocated um the feelings that's just kind of how obviously like you're gonna be initially like oh they're cute that type of thing but if it's there it's there if it's not don't push it how do you start a conversation so like i said i've said this like a million times i feel like but everyone's in the same spot as you so just go up introduce yourself that's literally it um you can be like oh hi like i'm grace like they'll be like oh hi i'm cameron and then you'll be like oh cool like how old are you and they'll be like oh i'm 18 oh i'm oh me too like where are you from i'm from indiana what about you oh i live in california oh what part like you get it you get my yeah we get it so just like that and then from there you can go oh sports school like all this stuff family there's so much you can get into so how many cruises have you been on oh do you cruise while is it your first cruise all that stuff there's tons you can talk about don't worry don't stress it out don't overthink it and then the last question i'm going to be answering for you guys is somebody asked how do you stay in contact with your cruise friends because as you guys know um some of my like best guy friends um i met on a cruise in 2016 so just justin connor and beer um they're some of my best guy friends we've gone on like multiple cruises together basically at the end of the trip you're all gonna be really sad because like i said you've just spent the past however many days like it could be nine days it could be seven days it could be 14 days like however many days you've just spent that long with them all the time like you don't have your phone so you're not able to text your you're not able to text your normal friends and you're just like always with them and so it's like really sad when you have to leave because you get to know people way faster and way like you get to know them way closer um so 
everyone kind of like what I do is since I don't ever have Wi-Fi is like I make a notes page on my phone and everyone just like puts their social medias their snapchats their phone numbers all that stuff and then like at the end of some of my cruises we've made like group snapchats and like we'll just snapchat in it for maybe like a couple weeks after and then like you'll start streaks maybe with a few people that you want to that type of thing so like I have streaks right now with Connor and Justin and then Cameron obviously and then we have like a group chat with me um Justin Connor and Veer and then I still have like group chats I have one called like independence of the seas I have the allure of the seas um I have multiple like cruise group chats and sometimes we'll like randomly snapchat in it and that type of thing but um it's not like you're keeping in touch with everyone because you're gonna be closer to some people than you are to other people so that's kind of just like that whole thing um basically if you want to stay in contact you will um but yeah, and like for if you're going on like a Christmas cruise or like a cruise that's over like a break, a lot of a time, a lot of the times people that always cruise at Christmas are always cruising at Christmas. And so like lucky for me, our family cruises at Christmas a lot of the time. And so a lot of the people I meet on cruises also their families do the same thing. They're also like cruising at Christmas or New Year's or like spring break at the same time. Like they always do that every single year. So it's like oh, what cruise are you guys going on this year? And then everyone's like, oh, I'm going on the Allure, I'm going on the Symphony, I'm going on the Oasis, I'm going on the Independence. And you're like, oh, I'm going on the Allure too. Like, bam, you know someone. So just that kind of thing, like, it's going to happen. But yeah, and then like, as far as like the people you become really, really close with, like Justin, Connor, and Beer, they're literally like my best friends and my brothers, like, We've just stayed in contact so much. Like, I text Justin and Connor, like, every single day. Like, we just talk about random things. They tell me their girl problems. Like, all that stuff. And, um... I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. But anyways, since we all communicate so much and we use our, like, group chat with the four of us a lot, it's like, okay, let's... Last year, it was like, okay, I need to see you guys. Like, because we didn't go on a... Um, we didn't all go on a cruise, like, together that Christmas. So it's like okay, let's plan a trip for over the summer. We planned one and they all came out to California. And so, yeah, basically if you wanna make it happen, if you wanna stay in contact with people, you will. And if they make the same effort, you're gonna end up staying in contact with them. So I would say those are my best tips for you guys. If you guys have any questions, comment them down below about how to meet people, how to make friends, all that stuff. But I feel like I covered the basics for the most part. Um, if you're new, make sure you definitely subscribe down below. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me over there. All my social medias are always listed in the description box for you guys. So you can check them out and follow me on all those. So you stay updated. And thank you guys again so much for 10,000 subscribers. I literally can't believe it. And and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.